Hey YouTube Eli here today showing you how to check if your motherboard has a TPM chip uh, based on looking at the motherboard. So you will take your lovely side panel off of your motherboard or off of your PC um, and then by unscrewing these two lovely screws um, and then before uh, touching internal components of your motherboard be sure to always ground yourself by touching some wood so that you don't if you so that you don't get static shock on your motherboard um, and break anything. Here's my uh, 2070 Super. So on your motherboard, um, you will be looking for a port that's a little bit long. It's longer than a SATA port um, and it's longer than USB ports um, like the uh, motherboard USB ports. So um like where i'm pointing here that's a usb port that's a usb port those normally have um i think 10 pins so five five by five so this port here the one that looks like this um that is a tpm port um and if i put the camera down lower um you will see that it says tpm under there i can zoom in on it um it looks like it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pins on top. So it's ten, uh, two rows of ten pins, um, and then it's missing one pin. So if your motherboard does not have a TPM pin, it will look like that. It'll just be empty. Um, if you do have a pin or a TPM chip, there will be a little chip uh, put in there. Um, it's about one inch long, um, like half an inch to one inch somewhere in that range. Um, this is kind of also the size you're looking for of, of that port. Um, but this port just is for uh, like power um, buttons and things that plug into there and it's missing more pins. Uh, but the, the TPM port has, has more pins like that. Um, and this is a gigabyte motherboard, um, as you can see on my heat sink there. Um, I don't remember the model of this. I think it's like an AM3, something like that. Um, so your motherboard uh, might look a little bit different, but that's what the TPM port looks like. Thanks for watching.